Hi, my name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. Welcome to Thrifting is My Beach. Today I have a special guest. This is not my twin, I swear we did not plan to both wear <laughs> camo. Um, she texted me earlier and she's like, so what should I wear? And I was like, I don't care, wear whatever you want. I have been known to wear my robes in videos, like just whatever. And <clears throat> yeah, anyways, this is us. Uh, welcome Sherry. Thank you for having me. So I wanted to bring her on. She, I think you've been in a previous video, but it may have been on your channel. I think I came into the video with YouTube. Okay. Before. All right. Yeah. Maybe one of my lives. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I wanted to bring her back because in a previous video I did mention I was interested to see what a regular person searches for online when they're looking for a secondhand item to buy. Because as resellers, we're always posting content and talking about items, holding them up and describing them as we would list them. But as a buyer who is not a reseller, they don't know search terms. Like for instance, when you're looking for a dress, um, wrap dress is pretty simple. But for instance, a sheath dress, a shift dress, a tent dress, um, all of these terms, like sometimes I have a brain fart and I have to go online to Google and look up the dress style because I can't remember the name. So for a regular person to know is... Yeah. So okay. I recently did a, a search for a black dress and I did black body fit dress was what I put in because okay. I wanted like a fitted, yes. like tighter black dress. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy to think because um, SEO search term is very, very important as technology advances and you want to pop up on Google, which is also very important because I don't know about you guys, but I use Google. Do you use Google? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. So I use Google as I'm sure most of you do and you want your item to show up. So um, bringing up the dress is a great example because about six months ago, Poshmark redid their algorithm mm. and it threw so many people off because we're always use as many words as you can in the title, be very descriptive, all this and that. And then when they redid their algorithm, items weren't showing up when people were searching. Oh, so then that's a problem. it's a huge problem and people's sales went down and it was just a big, mm -hmm. a big issue. And so what people were doing is they were actually going into their title and instead of having black, A-line, polka dot, retro, fit and flare dress or whatever, they were editing their title and saying black dress, simplifying it because they felt from their experience with the change in the algorithm that it was popping up versus having this long descriptive mm, title. Gotcha. And so <laughs> this is kind of like I've been brainstorming this video about what you would look for, what an average person who is not a reseller in the fashion industry would look for because I think we should also include those words in our search and so I wanted to find out myself and I want to share this with you guys as I'm sure you have thought of this as well because in our in our description for an item that we're listing talking clothing mainly uh, not only are we putting the brand the size the color but we're also and I specialize in vintage but you can also do this with modern modern clothing is that we're using um, clothing aesthetics, uh, trends, mm -hmm. if it fits that trend, um, a big one that's been around for us forever is boho, mm. which means bohemian. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and we're from a rural area. So of course that affects what people are looking for. I personally sell a lot of my vintage clothing to California, New York, New York, Bronx, um, a lot of places that wear that type of clothing versus, modern brands, which obviously anybody would wear, but I feel like the stuff I sell is more unique and out there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I feel like it goes more towards people in the city, but so we're going to go through and I'm going to hold up an item for you guys. And my sister mm -hmm. is going to describe it and don't feel embarrassed. Like if you have no idea, because yeah. this is showing everybody that we need to simplify mm -hmm. and add in simple terms in our description um, to get more buyers and have a more accurate, because we're overthinking. I think the issue is re with resellers. Right. Everybody's overthinking and they're saying more words, more words. But 
I'm a secondhand shopper online as well. And I will tell you, I am so guilty of going on, seeing an item, looking at the first picture, not reading the description and I buy it. And then I click on the buy and my order goes through and I'm like, Oh, I didn't read the description. Mm. I didn't look at all the pictures. So mm -hmm. I am so guilty of that because my life is crazy. Your life, like everyone's life is crazy. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's so quick. <laughs> we just hit buy too quickly. Yeah, we do very much so. So, all right. Um, one more question before we get started is, um, what percentage of clothing do you feel like you buy online versus buying in the store? Mm -hmm. So a year ago, I mainly shopped in the store. Mm -hmm. I did maybe 20% of my shopping online. Now I'd say 40% is shopping online. Okay. And 60% is in the store. Now that is mainly because it takes so long to get things shipped to me and I am terrible at planning. So I usually like, if I need something, it's like in two days I need it. Right. So I will go out to Goodwill, Salvation Army, um, Marshalls and see if I can find something locally. Right. And I think also to take into consideration is we live in a rural area. Um, in order to get decent shopping, we have to go an hour away. So I think that may also affect whether you buy online versus in store. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people like to try on their clothing. They're very picky with how it fits. Mm -hmm. I'm really that way. Me too. Um, so anyways, okay. I have modern and vintage clothing to show her. Uh, a couple of pieces are for my personal wardrobe just because time crunch. I procrastinated for this video. So, all right, here is the first item. And these are all women's clothing. So talking about a black dress, mm. this one is very pretty. What do, you, what do you think? Yeah, I would, I would try that on. Um, I would call this a it's your size. Oh, well, there we go. I think I, mm. I would call this a, I would call it like a, a, a black form fitted stretchy dress. Yes. Okay. So stretchy is very important to buyers because if a fabric is not stretchy, it's a lot less likely to fit. Mm -hmm. Now I do include measurements in my listings mainly because I sell vintage clothing, which is completely different in sizing. I may have added sleeveless to it too. Cause it's yes. sleeveless. Yes, definitely sleeveless. Okay. Now what do you think about the neckline? What mm -hmm. would you call that neckline? Is it like a cowl neckline? Good job! Oh my gosh! Woohoo! Sorry, I watch too much kid TV. Um, and so I'm a little animated and I overreact with my reactions. Anyways, don't say you're sorry. You are who you are. Uh, it's okay. all right. Yes. So good job with the, the cowl neck. Yeah, but I would not have put that in my initial search. Okay. So yes, um, stretchy cowl neck. This has a little bit of a draped effect, not only with the neckline, I don't mm -hmm. think the camera's going to pick it up very well, but do you see this? Yeah, there I can. Yeah. The, the, a lot of people love this draped, it's like a ruche mm -hmm. and the ruching is, um, it makes you have more of a, an appearance of a slender torso, mm -hmm. which a lot of people love, especially in swimsuits. Kind of hides your belly. Yes, it does. Yeah. Yes. All right. That is great. So this is white house black market Ooh, that's a great brand so this dress probably retailed for 120 130 dollars and that is something that i could wear to like a function like that my kids would be at and they wouldn't be embarrassed that i wore that dress true yes because it's not too revealing right so when i am listing a dress and it well i wouldn't consider this modest but I do include modest in um, clothing that I sell. See, to me, that's kind of modest. But... Okay. And that's another thing. Each person has their own opinion mm -hmm. of what modest is. Right. Another example of your own opinion is color. Mm. A shade of purple or a shade of red, green, blue. I mean, there are so many. I've had returns or return requests because the color they didn't think was what I had stated. So mm -hmm. color is also another opinion that varies from person to person, mm -hmm. right? All right. Okay. The next item. Now this is vintage and this is probably something you might've worn back in 
the day a little bit. No, I have not buttoned it. Junior high, maybe. Junior high, you think? Okay. Yeah. It's like a gunny, almost like a gunny sack, like adjustable <gasps> print top kind of. You know what that is? Oh, yeah. Gunny sacks. Okay. I used to wear them. Did you really? Yes. Do you know they resell very well right now. I, yeah, you would mentioned that. Yeah. Okay. So I would, if I was wanting to get something like this, I would type in blue floral button down dress. That's a great, that's great. That's pretty much what, yes. Um, it's not quite a shirt dress. A shirt dress is when it buttons all the way down. Right. This one just buttons from the skirt down. Mm -hmm. um, I would have included. It's almost an empire waist almost. You know, empire waist. I am so impressed. <laughs> you know what an empire waist is. Yeah. That's great. Okay. So this is giving me major. Did you ever wear Laura Ashley? No, but I know who she is. Okay. Yeah, it's so, Laura Ashley. And then the, you had the mom and the little girl outfits. Yes. Okay. If you find an 80s or 90s Laura Ashley floral dress, very similar in this style, they resell for like over $100. Wow. Yes. Now, modern Laura Ashley, I see all the time at Thrift, and I don't pick it up. The resale value is really low for right. modern clothing. Mm -hmm. But yes. So this is a brand I actually really like. Erica. Yeah, I, I was going to say Erica had some sweaters that were pretty popular too. Yes. I find a lot of Erica 80s and 90s that resell pretty well, not because of the brand, but because of the style. Mm -hmm. So I will show you this tag. And vintage clothing, again, um, vintage clothing does not necessarily go by brand, unless it's like gunny sacks mm -hmm. or a designer, but it goes by the style. The print, I like the bold, the better. Okay. Next one, this may make you blush. Maybe not. Okay, how'd you describe this? Um, well, how I would describe it, if I was looking for it, would say, I would say, uh, I kind of have something like this. <laughs> Me a picture. Okay. <laughs> okay. Black, <laughs> black lacy one piece lingerie. Correct. Good job. Um, bodysuit's huge. Yeah. So that, yeah, I guess I missed the bodysuit because it does snap at the bottom and then it's wired. Like there's some, a little bit of wiring. Yeah. Underwire. But, underwire. That's, but yeah. I wouldn't have put that probably if I was looking for it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, bodysuit is super important. And like you said, bodysuits are super popular right now. I love the bodysuits, though, that are like shapewear. Yes. That you can also wear as like underneath a piece. Yes. Like that, under a jacket or... Yes. I like to put a jean jacket on over it. Yes. I actually bought some recently and apparently I got the wrong size. So I have to lose like 10 pounds before I'll fit into it, oh, <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. But yes, um, something else, I didn't bring it up very close, but I would have said would probably have been sheer, which I don't know if you even noticed oh, that. Oh, yeah, it is sheer. sheer. Yeah. And sheer garments are very trending right now. Mm. Um, well, when, I would not wear that as a maybe, piece under, I mean, like okay, that would just be laundry. Maybe you're in me. your 20s. Oh, well, yeah. You can wear like a cute bralette under this or just some pasties. I see a lot of women maybe like in the cities, mm -hmm. you know, um, wear these with a, like a blazer. So I have a friend and he told me that in Manhattan, it is legal for women to walk around topless. In Manhattan? Yes. Topless? Yes. Like with pasties? With nothing. Like it's legal for women. He lives like 30 minutes outside of New York City. Oh my gosh. If they're nursing? No. What? Just, yes. He said, you just, women don't, but it is legal. That is crazy. Now, I do know there is a bicycle group or event that people do that you ride topless. Mm. Do you remember the name of that one? No. Okay, well, I've heard of it. I tried to tell him, I'm like, no way. He's like, nope, seriously, it's true. And here people on the news are like so offended by other things that I won't, breastfeeding. I won't get into because it's political. Yeah. Okay. All right, moving on. <clears throat> Got to fix the collar on this one. This is a top. Mm hmm. So I would, if I was searching for something like this, I would say 
brown sparkly crop top. Okay. This is where, like, I don't use the word sparkly, but you're right. It is sparkly. So what I put and something I may change mm -hmm. is I put metallic. Oh, yeah. To me, that's sparkly, not metallic. Right? I, I you're right. It's metallic. It's a metallic thread. To me, so. metallic would be solid. Oh, okay. So, like, it's shiny, uh -huh. like, silver. Yeah. I call that metallic. Okay. So, sparkly. That is good to know. Okay. Now, um, gathered sleeves. Gathered. This is what we call smocking. I did not know that. Yes, okay, smocking. smocking um, a huge search word, especially in um, girls' vintage clothing. Mm. The, the smock dresses, mm -hmm. there tends to be, um, they do well. Okay, so here is the tag. Mm -hmm. What would you say? Do you think this is um, a modern piece? No, this is think? like, this is old. Now, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, that is so ugly. I never wear it. But then I was like, oh, that kind of color looks might look good on me. It would, actually. Yeah, you do really well with the greens and the... Um, like the burgundy, mm -hmm. and I think so. What do you think? Yeah, I I think any piece can be styled, right? I follow some influencers on Instagram, and they turn clothing that's not even like their size, and they'll twist it around their oh, body yeah. with belts, and they mix modern with vintage, and they kill it. Like mm -hmm. it's amazing. So you just have a good eye for it. Yes, and you just have to think outside the box. Yep. As resellers often do. So, so yeah. I, if I were to wear this, this is what I would do with it. So I would, ha I have some black dresses that are like form fitted, mm -hmm. and I would wear this over the top of a black, oh. like longer uh -huh. form fitted yeah. dress. That would be really cute. Yeah, because um, I don't know if you guys can see, but it is slightly sheer. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it's sheer enough that you'd have to wear something under it. Um, I guess it depends on the event that you're going to or where you're going. Or how modest you want to dress. Correct, correct. Also, different stages of your life. Like right now, I'm in the middle of all these little kids. Like I don't feel sexy, if you want to say. Like, you know, I'm just covered in poop and whatever else all day long. Um, versus, you know, my sister, her, her kids are older. Um, yeah, now it's more like I want to dress yes. sexy. Yeah. But my teenage boys are like, Mom, don't dress like that, <laughs> basically. But you also don't want them to be like... I don't want them to make to, to, to judge women, like to, yes. to recognize that I can wear what I want that makes me feel good about myself <laughs> or that I think looks nice or... <laughs> You know, what if, what if I have, you know, a date or a boyfriend or whatever, and I'm wearing it because I know he likes it, something like that. I don't want them to like dictate what you wear. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Correct. Okay. This is a non-clothing piece, but I just want to throw it in for fun. So here, get a good look at this. This is really pretty. This has been my death pile guys for probably a year. It's sad, but true. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would use it for a makeup bag. A makeup bag. <laughs> oh, poor thing. Ugh. I know. And to each its own, right? Um, so if I were looking for something like this. Oh, this is like old. It is. I would like. 60s? What, good job. Yes. I would say. From a zipper. Yeah. Um, it's 60s. It's a nylon zipper. Um, nylon or metal zippers were common until about the mid 60s. Uh, I mean, you can go back and do your own research. It does vary. It reminds me of like some of the old mini skirts that mom had because when mo I had some of mom's mini skirts oh, in did? high school. Yeah. Oh, I would die to get some of those. My mom, I don't think she watches my videos unless she misses me. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't miss us. No, I don't think so. They, they snowbird down in Florida for about half a year. Anyways, um, my mom, even in her mid thirties, she was dressing like I, what you would call a hooch, hoochie, hoochie mama, hoochie mama. <laughs> she she wore the Daisy Dukes, the crop tops. I mean, all of it. And so nowadays, when I'm with her or any time, and she just makes a comment about something, I'm just like, oh, I know. Like she'll ju make judgmental comments about clothing. I'm like, I have photos, <laughs> photo evidence. Yeah. I know. And maybe that just comes with age. Yeah. You know, I try really hard not to say comments to my daughter who's in her <sighs> early twenties about what she wears because I wear crop tops and short skirts and all of that stuff. Correct. Correct. So yeah. It's just a, a season of your life. 
It is. It so is. what am I saying about this? Oh, I'm so sorry. So I would search for this. Yeah. Um, sparkly would be a word that I would use for this. Sparkly floral clutch handbag. That's good. Clutch handbag. Yes. I would call this clutch handbag. I love handbags, so I know a little bit. She does. She's the queen of handbags. Uh, this, what color do you think this is? That looks like peridot, which is a jewel. <laughs> I know the jewel, but I don't know the color term. Yeah. Peridot. Because yeah. peridot, the jewel is that color. Yeah. But sage, maybe. Good. Okay. Sage green. I love sage green. I do too. Yeah. It's like a very calming. Yes. It's a color of our bedroom. <laughs> just a, it makes me feel good. Yes. Yep. All right. So I would definitely call this sage green. I would say beaded embellished sequence oh, sure. floral clutch handbag um 60s um and i make note of the zipper the type of zipper just because some vintage people are interested in um the brand of zipper sure but i do not see any tags on the inside if you want to look i mean it's even gorgeous on the inside yeah it's so clean it is very clean. Um, a lot of vintage items you'll get will be damaged or discolored and yeah. people still buy them. But There's this no is discoloring. This is in mint condition and for this to be beaded, I don't see any loose beading. No, I don't I think either. I can get at least fifty dollars for this. Yeah. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Okay. Moving along to our next piece. I am sorry, but I do not like this shirt at all. <laughs> It does remind me, though, of stuff that people would wear in the 80s. Okay. With with leggings. Stirrups. Stirrups. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My friend Ashley would have worn that shirt. Okay. Um, so if I were searching for this, I would say uh, mustard and black striped asymmetrical shirt. Long sleeve shirt. I'm throwing words out there. I don't really know. <laughs> okay. All right. And I know this is a special kind of sleeve. Is it like a dolman sleeve or what is that kind of sleeve? This type of sleeve is just a normal casual sleeve. Oh, because it just... It's the pattern. So oh. the see how it yeah. almost looks like it's flared? It does look like it's flared, but, but it's, it's not really. It's, it's it's almost tapered in. Yeah, it's a okay. casual sleeve. Okay. Um. But you know the term dolman. I love dolman sleeves. It's when it's there's more fabric here and it's it's loose fitted right here mm -hmm. through the mm -hmm. between yeah. Okay. So here is the tag, which I didn't even show you the tag. Mm. Mill Valley. That's this might be older than what I was thinking then. Okay. Um. So based off this tag, I'm going to say it's 90s. Um. It's a oh look at that. Hobo shirt. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Um, they call this a hobo shirt. This is a, a blend of cotton, linen, and rayon, and it's made in the USA. The embroidered, see how this tag, it looks, it's ribbon almost like, yeah. mm -hmm. and see how it's almost embroidered. The font yeah. is, em so if you flip the inside you of this tag, the, you, you can, can see, see the, the, the threading. Yep, see I that? remember tags like that. Okay, yeah. so they discontinued these. Um, in the early 2000s, late 90s, when they started doing, like, a lot of screen printing. Yeah. On the tags. Um, I don't know if I've ever talked about this in videos before, but you want to look for that. I have a lot of people message me on Instagram for, about asking about vintage. So that's just a little. But um, this style is very artsy. Yeah. Um, a term that I didn't know until I resold is called lagging look. Do you know lagging look? No. It's a really weird word, but lagging look is, like, a... A very loose fitted garment, layers, um, asymmetrical, just unique, but it can also, based on the pattern, be like more modern, contemporary. I see it more so in Europe than America. Okay. Um, with the style. So, yeah, a uh, very interesting piece. I don't know if I should do a close up of the fabric. And it is kind of textured, a little bit of a it crinkle is. fabric. It reminds me of like, you could never iron and get it. No, you wouldn't be able to. You are actually supposed to keep the fabric like this. It's almost gauzy, but not quite. Um, it almost reminds me of bark cloth. Do you know the term bark cloth? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a type of cotton that um, some people search for. Okay. Okay. All right, next piece. We've got four pieces left. Okay. Okay. All right. 
This is a fun one. I just washed this one. <clears throat> that screams to me like something that Molly Ringwald would wear in Pretty in Pink or something. Oh, so true. And who Molly Ringwald was, you gotta say the video, the name of the movie. Candles. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so here we have a. Well, I'll have you describe it first. Okay, so I would call this a chambray or denim. You know chambray. Yeah. Okay. Um, jumpsuit. Okay. That's what I would call it. Okay. It also. And I mean, I, the beading is pretty intricate, but I. It is. So true. I didn't button it. I did wash it, so I took the, the I unbuttoned the straps so they wouldn't get damaged. But this is like embellished pearls. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Like the rhinestone. Doesn't look like it'd be very stretchy. No, no stretch. Um, but you know chambray mm -hmm. because I didn't know chambray mm. before reselling, mm. and it's very common, or not common, but. People really like it mm -hmm. because it's like the look of denim without the stiffness or the thickness. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And this is like a light wash and it crosses in the back and has snaps and it's got a straight leg. Mm -hmm. I think it may be more ankle length. Now this is interesting because I think it's vintage. It has, see this is like a paper tag. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Paper tag which indicates most of the time vintage. Now this is 100% cotton, which if it's not like a knit cotton, mm -hmm. it will not have much stretch, if any. But it says made in Italy, and so it's Italian sizing. So I'll have to take measurements. So it's an Italian size 42. So I'm going to say vintage based off of the tag. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a very interesting piece. I'm going to say, what decade do you think this is? I think it looks like around like 1985-ish. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. It is really nice. I don't even remember where I got it. Mm. Like I couldn't even. The tell back you. is really cool. Yes, and I should have. And it, it cro the straps cross, mm -hmm. and then it buttons like mm -hmm. that. So it's yeah. It's, yeah. 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 Anyways, this has also been my death pile. <laughs> Um, I need to list that because I think for this next coming season, that yes, would be cool. I think that, yeah. yeah. Okay. Next piece. Well, that's modern. Yes. I can tell by the tag. Okay. Cause I know Venus has like swimwear and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say, um, it's not tie dye. It's like. I don't know, like rainbow. There's a word, but I can't think of it. Think of the hair. Bleach? Um, ombre. <laughs> oh, ombre, yeah. Ombre, ombre. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I I wouldn't have thought of that word, but okay. uh, I would say just, I would probably maybe tie-dye even, mm -hmm. but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be like a dip dye kind yeah. of tie-dye. Rainbow sweatshirt. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I originally got it for myself, mm -hmm. but I don't, I don't know that I'm not as colorful, like, as I used, like, mm -hmm. as I used to be, so I may just list this, um, and Venus doesn't resell for much, like, I'd probably get, like, $18 mm -hmm. for this, mm -hmm. but I didn't pay much for it, and it also has these really cool cutouts mm -hmm. on the sleeve, and, um, do you see the, the, the hem? neckline, yeah, it's like a raw, yeah, a raw hem, mm-hmm. It's got like a the distress looking like mm -hmm. yeah okay three more items I think I might have miscounted this is also something I bought on Poshmark I haven't worn yet it looks like something that you would wear uh huh yeah so I would put um uh red and pink poncho Native American print okay that's, what that's I interesting uh is it more aztec yeah i i mean to each their own i mean right. really it's uh, based on your opinion yeah but um yeah i would put so it does look like a poncho but it's actually a sweater mm -hmm. 
Um, and yeah, I put Aztec, tribal, mm-hmm. fringe. Mm-hmm. Fringe is a, like huge. Yeah. Um, it seems to come and go, but um, mm-hmm. and the brand Savannah Jane. Um, it's like a boutique brand, mm. but on eBay, it does a lot better on eBay than Poshmark, okay. which is interesting. So like you could sell an item for more money on a different platform right. because it's a different audience. Yeah. Now it's funny. It says I'll have people do a screenshot of my item from one platform and want and, to pay the other one. Yes. Yes. It's crazy, which is against policy. So I have to remind them, you know, that mm-hmm. they can't do that. So, okay. Cat normally doesn't come in my videos. It's usually Tibby. <clears throat> this is something I haven't worn yet either, but that's cute, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So I would call this like this is like the boho mm-hmm. type look, floral mm-hmm. boho, black floral boho. Mm-hmm. That's what I would put in there. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much, it's like a chiffon polyester. Mm. Which is like the I really like that purple in there. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's a like a mixed floral. It is. It's got the the little purple and white, like almost lilac mm-hmm. type, and then bigger roses on the sides. Yeah, it's a busy top, but I like the cut of it. I like the drape, mm-hmm. the drape, the drapiness. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the sleeve. sleeve. That's cool. I didn't notice that before. That's really cool. Um, some people is that like a bell sleeve. No, I would call this like a either a balloon sleeve. Uh, some people say puff sleeve, but normally mm-hmm. that's towards the top. Right. I think bishop sleeve, and even still, I sometimes have to Google yeah. types of sleeves because there's a million kinds. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so anyways, this is she and Sky. I can't remember if this is sold at Urban Outfitters or where this is sold at. I have resold this brand a few times. But, again, I tried to not, like, I don't think it resells for a whole lot. Got it. You know, mm-hmm. so I wouldn't necessarily pick that up. Now, this is something really <laughs> cool that I found yesterday. I went to that new thrift store um, off the square. Oh, yeah. And Mama's? With Matt yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've been in there a few times. And they have a lot I, of stuff. Oh, my gosh. And Matt was with me, so I just kind of, like, skimmed. Mm-hmm. And she had mainly modern clothing. Mm-hmm. But I did find a few vintage pieces, and this is one of them. And I love <laughs> selling That's right up your alley. I love selling sleepwear. I love all this kind of here. I'll show you the top. If you can see all the colors. Yeah. Okay. How would you describe this piece? Gosh, I don't know what this stuff is called. I can't remember, but I'd say pink. It's almost a robe. Almost. Is it zip all the way down? No. I would put pink fuzzy robe okay yeah so i would call this like a fleece that see right okay. it's yeah. like a fleece fabric mm-hmm. okay and it has a very interesting rope it reminds me Josh. of from the 70s yes the tag i believe is 70s mm-hmm. um in the 70s they started putting care instructions on like how to wash your garment okay and so that's why I'm going to say it may, no, okay, WPL, I think was mainly from, okay, yeah, so I'm going to say 70s, this is a current medium small, I would say, now I would consider this a robe, house coat, mm-hmm. um, bubble gum pink, mm. I would say it's almost a pastel, like I would consider it like borderline pastel. Which, if you get into the pastel colors, which are really trending right now, I was just at, I think, Kohl's um, a few weeks ago, and they had the cutest color block. Do you know color blocking? Mm-hmm. Okay. Color blocked pastel cardigan. That mm-hmm. was, oh my gosh, like something from the 80s, but I loved it. Mm-hmm. So, there's a huge trend with pastels. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, there's uh, Fairy Key. Mm. Kaiwi, like I can't even say it. K A W A I. It's on my phone. It's a very weird term. I think a lot of the words are based off of like Lolita. Um, a lot of like anime, a lot of Asian terms, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and also there's also a trend called soft girl. 
No? Okay. Never heard of that. I wouldn't know it either, but I'm a reseller and I have to keep up with these trends so I can market my clothes properly. Mm -hmm. um, and if someone's looking for this, t this trend, I need to know what it is. So yeah, um, this is a fleece robe. Uh, I would say rainbow. Rainbow is mm -hmm. very popular. Mm -hmm. Also with the rainbow, you have the um, LGBT, mm -hmm. especially for Pride Month. Um, obviously, I don't know that you want to wear a robe because <laughs> right. it's in June, I think, right? I don't remember. I think so. I think it's in June. So, yeah. And I'll probably, like, honestly list this at $75. Wow. Um, I may not get 75 I may mm -hmm. accept an offer of like 60 Right. But yeah. Wow. So, if I got a grade, I'd give myself like a C plus. Oh, I thought I'd give you like a B minus. Oh. <laughs> no, I think you did really well. What do you think, Ellie? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, Sherry, again for your time. I know you're a very busy person. So, just shedding some light on some other ways that we want to describe something. Yeah. And, and I think I, I, I'm a writer and I'm always thinking of SEO mm -hmm. and we really, really need to stop and think about our potential buyers. Like what, how are their brands working? Correct. Totally agree. So I hope this is helpful to you. Totally shed some light onto ways I can list items that I wouldn't have thought of. Mm -hmm. So thank you again. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Oh yeah. Thank you. All right. I'll catch you guys on my next video. Have a great day. Bye, Bye. everyone.